um, the drip was uh, much better than I expected. You know, the roads were challenging, of course, but I really had fun. Uh, the Himalayan did, Modik did it really well. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, uh, going over the street, meeting a lot of women, you know, women organizations that really inspired me more. And then uh, we had a really, really good time. I still get messages from them, like they still miss me, stuff, yeah. <laughs> In order to pass an exam, you need to study hard. So uh, for this tour, I've, uh, I've uh, lo met a lot of men, like adventurous person. You know, I've, I've asked a lot of questions. I did a lot of research regarding uh, Nagaland Road as well. And then I also learned how to fix my tire, my clutch, everything. And then um, that gave me confidence, like, you know, that gave me confidence. And yeah, of course, um, with all of the people's support, that really encouraged me a lot. Yeah. Picture, picture. We are not just made for a kitchen, like we women, we're not just made for a kitchen, we should think beyond the kitchen. And then uh, this following, my passion really helped me, uh, you know, uh, it helped me to some discipline me and I've learned a lot of things. And uh, we should, you know, we should just uh, think, we should think beyond the kitchen, you know, not necessarily to be a piper, but uh, whatever you are passionate about it, your hobbies, you know, um, we women should not just be comfortable in our own zone, we should be, we should act beyond our comfortable zone. Yeah. The city has its own unique way, you know, they were very, they were very polite and, you know, it's just that a road, uh, road uh, problem, it's just that a road problem, but, you know, if it's... Generations it's down the line, decades down the line, a hundred years from now, our children, hopefully her children, and our grandchildren will be talking about this story. It is stories like this that will be told at a fireplace. It is stories like this that we will tell our grandchildren. And it is incidents and experiences and challenges that persons like her take that will push our society to break that glass ceiling, as you said, to push the envelope and to break free from the shackles and the hurdles that tie us down. <laughs> Just saying congratulations to her is actually an understatement. But I don't have words to say beyond congratulations. But on and I must tell you that today, Naga society ought to be proud of you. But we must also admit and accept the fact that there is a dark underbelly in Naga society where our women face challenges every minute, every day, every hour. Unseen challenges, unheard cries, Unrubbed tears, which we don't see. Silently, they feel the pain. Silently, they shed the tears. Silently, they struggle on. Today, Onen exemplifies the new woman that Naga woman want to be. She exemplifies the ambition of every young girl from Kohima to Naganimura from Kifire to Dimapur. She exemplifies the ambition and the aspiration of every young girl. Thank you. We, the society...